Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, we actually had this conversation yesterday, Mr. Bartold, and I want to highlight it again because I think some of my colleagues are, um, are still struggling to understand why this amendment is so important. Um, I asked you yesterday if a firefighter in my district would be able to deduct the state and local sales taxes that she pays from her tax returns. And let's say today, can she do that? It, uh, since you're from the state of Washington, there is no income tax uh, that uh, individual state and local sales to, taxes is actually would, what would I said. Elect uh, the sales tax uh, election. Yes. Uh, and okay. if the total itemized deductions exceeded the standard deduction amount, they but uh, yes, might well she make can make deduct that. those today. That, that's correct. But under this plan, will that firefighter be able to deduct those sales taxes? Uh, she would not. Okay. So this changes. She has lost the ability to deduct um, those sales taxes from her uh, federal income taxes under this plan. That's correct. So will a corporation be able to deduct sales taxes on business purchases under the, or, or today? Today, can a corporation do that today? Uh, as a general matter, yes. Uh, in fact, many uh, businesses I, are that's exempt fine. on sales taxes. Uh, so. Yes. If they can today, now will they under this plan be able to yes. continue to deduct that? So yes. yes. So for the firefighter, I'll do this one instead. she can't. Um, she c could deduct those sales taxes today. She won't be able to under this plan. For the corporation, they can today, and they still can under this plan. In fact, the corporation also has a 15 percent tax cut. 15 percent. So when we talk about legislation, does this legislation that we're talking about treat corporations and individuals the same? The answer is no. And here's a good example why. With a gentle lady yield. Um, please let me finish. Um, no, they're not actually the same. We're, corporations are getting a 15% tax cut and they are in addition able to keep this deduction on um, state and local taxes. But the firefighter in my district isn't getting that. In fact, a lot of the things that might impact the firefighter in my district will also expire in five years, whereas the corporate um, reductions that are in this plan are permanent. So this is not about parity today. What this amendment, though, is about is trying to make one step towards parity, make sure that businesses, um, corporate corporations, are treated the same as individuals and families based on the changes that are being made in this bill. So it's just really disappointing that we've, seen, we've heard a lot, of, uh, a lot of talk on the other side of the aisle, but the reality is there's a, a benefit that people take advantage of today, people in my district take advantage of today, that's going to be lost. But for companies, that benefit is not going to be lost. In fact, they're also getting 15% sales tax, or a 15% corporate